Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Uh, this is what I took with me when I went camping or hiking. Um, that video is being posted. Um, so at least some of the footage. Um, so this is my pack. It's a Deuter pack and it is a 65 litre. Um, on the outside of the pack I have my cup attached with this um, paracord um, this um, paracord here also comes with I mean I don't think it's necessarily the best thing here hello everybody and welcome back to rebellious menstruation today we're looking at the scrubber founded in 2010 by Australian Ash Newland while hiking Africa's Mount Kilimanjaro Hiking, especially to areas that have limited resources in laundry facilities, um, Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. And this is another hiking video on another item that I have for that. Um, this is an unbranded cooking set uh, with a mini stove. Um, the mini stove that's in here is sometimes sold under brand names. Uh, and this is just the pot set essentially. So this is just kind of included in the pot set. Um, hi everybody. and Hello everybody and welcome back. Hi everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. This video is on uh, my hiking back um, and when I took hiking I have posted the video um, up of just some of the footage that I took um, but this is my pack. It is a 65 litre Deuter in this green colour. Um, Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Today we're looking at the scrubber. It was founded in 2010 by Australian Ash Newland um, and he was inspired while hiking Africa's Mount Kilimanjaro. Hiking especially to areas that have limited resource in laundry facilities made him realise that he needed to take something with him. An obvious uh, solution um, was the tried and tested washboard, which has obviously been used for centuries. However, these items were often heavy, bulky, and were better used with a sink, bucket, or creek. After several test prototypes failed, Ash again set off back to Africa and tested uh, the scrubber live. Um, in Mosh, Tanzania. While these initial tests were successful, there was still a lot of uh, further design and testing to be done um, and changes uh, to implement before going to the marketplace. Ash's career of patent attorney career as a patent attorney came in handy when filing for design, licensing and intellectual property and patents. So all of these, you know, things evolved to Ash creating the Calibri 8 PTY LTD company um, and eventually Ash realised quitting his job um, in 2011 um, was best was best as he could focus on the scrubber. In 2012, an Indiegogo campaign successfully raised uh, $22,525, um, or basically in direct orders, uh, with successful delivery of the item in June 2012. This effectively launched the scrubber bag to the open market. While initially solving a hiking backpacking problem, this product has also become a pop has also become popular among business travel travelers, vacationers who wanted to avoid avoid additional or exorbitant hotel fees. <clears throat> Students, campers, and cruisers 
Um, Scrubber has been featured in Forbes, Lonely Planet, BuzzFeed, uh, Gizmag, among others. Um, and, of course, have been featured in other major magazines and newspapers across the US, UK and Australia. Ash also appeared on Australia's Shark Tank in 2015. Um, and um, all three investors on the panel um, sought seat to support this company. Um, so, of course, they're still based in Melbourne, Victoria, but they also have distributing distribution centres in the US and Europe. Um, the key to the scrubber is an internal flexible washboard that uh, provides the agitation essential to the scrubber bag. <coughs> um, essentially, the scrubber bag uses microbial and hydro hydrolysis um, hydrolysis air resistant polymer TPU just some things I forgot to add in to the video um, I another thing I have and take with me is this